Hi, my name is Abiyonu Fijavi, still on vision. I know some of you are still thinking, come on, vision is not easy. The truth of the matter is that nothing good comes easy. And most people have been tempted to do away with their visions, you know, the reason why. It's just too, too complex. It's too difficult a terrain to work, uh, to work on. I can't cope. I can't achieve it. Nobody in my family has done this. Nobody in my community has done this. Nobody in my city has done this. Nobody in my country has done this. And so they abandoned their vision. A vision has a template that will be the initial enthusiasm and then there will come a time when you will feel like this vision is not worth pursuing it's an impossibility if you never get into that stage in which you feel like abandoning your vision you better throw that vision away that vision is not worth it every vision that will make bring the better person how to view must have be something must be something greater than you somebody has said that don't pursue a vision unless it is so great that you cannot do it except god comes to help you that's a yardstick of for, for determining the kind of a vision if the vision does not stretch you it's not worth it it will not stretch the world. It will not bring the desired change to your community. So, when you are thinking of the challenges that have amassed towards your vision, just smile. Because it is the nature of a vision to attract challenges. Those who are closest to you are going to be the ones to tell you, you can't achieve it. Mom and dad telling you, that's not what you are cut out for. Your best friends abandoning you as a result of your vision. But as you stay put, you will end up winning. I remember I've said on this broadcast that success has so many fathers, but failure is an orphan. People are waiting for you to do something extraordinary that they themselves have not been able to do because they are afraid of venturing out they are afraid of following their visions and their dreams and that's why they will try and prevent you from following their yours because they think you will be taking a lot of trouble but ultimately when you reject the things that they are saying to you and you refuse to be discouraged and you go ahead to succeed they will be able to say, that's my son, that's my daughter, that's my friend, that's my brother, that's my sister. They will be proud of you. Every vision that succeeds has frustrated so many challenges, has stood against well-meaning people, has trudged on, in the midst of challenges and difficulties and have succeeded where many others have failed so don't abandon your vision in natural fact one of the characteristics of vision is that vision does not change but you can change your approaches to fulfilling your vision when you meet an obstacle right you meet a wall tell yourself there are three things you can do one of them is not backing out. All right, maybe your original plan was to go ahead. You didn't know there was going to be a wall. Now there is a wall. So you know you can't go ahead like that. So it's either you drill a hole inside the wall, you scale the wall, or you blast the wall. Whatever you, you need to do, you know you have to move. But you could see now your approach, your plans have changed. But your vision still remains the same, marching forward. So keep your vision always in focus. 
and don't abandon it. But when opportunity calls, don't be afraid to change your plans, to change your approaches. While approaches may change, your vision remains sacrosanct. Thank you for listening.